In this video, we're going to take a look at the difference between a real-life event and a number sequence and how you write the equation for them. Remember, a geometric sequence is a multiplication-based rule, a lot like a real-life event that is exponentially based. So we're looking at geometric sequences, we're looking at exponential real-life events, and we're going to figure out how you write the equations for those two in their different contexts. So if we're taking a look at this first example, here is a situation where we have twins at Jefferson High School that just find out that they're turning 16 and their parents are going to buy them a convertible for their birthday. So the twins get to share this wonderful convertible and what they do is they text message or tweet out to their friends exactly what happened and in four minutes time you figure out that there's 512 people that know. So what I'd like to do is take this scenario or situation and turn it into an equation. The equation is based off of two things. One being the initial value when t of zero or time is zero and then we know that two people know. That number is going to be in our equation. And then we can look at this and see what it goes by. Now it's pretty easy to see that this is multiplied by 4 every time because we can do 2 times 4 is 8, 8 times 4 is 32 and so on. But if you can't see that, the rule for finding it is next divided by previous is the rule for finding the next um, number or the multiplier in an exponential situation. If you have the next number 8 divided by 2 we can get that as 4, next divided by previous. And that way we can find our multipliers here as we go. So we need to know what it starts at, which is the number 2. We need to know what it multiplies by. In this case, it's 4. Our equation would simply be f of x equals, it starts at 2, it's multiplied by 4 each time, therefore it's 2 times 4 to the x. Now, in comparison of that to the number sequence, if we were to take a look at just a plain old sequence, it says find the equation of the sequence, well, the difference is, is that a sequence starts at term 1, this is term 2, term 3, and so on. We have to find the zeroth term of the sequence. We actually technically have to go back a spot to figure out what number would have been here so that we can actually get the zero value or the initial value or what it starts at and then being able to figure out what it goes by. We know that it goes by times 4 because it's, it's the exact same table numbers that we had up here. Therefore, we know that its multiplier is times 4. If we take that back a step and we do a divide by 4 here, then we know that 2 divided by 4 is 1 half. And so in this case, our initial value, our starting number, is going to be 1 half for our equation. This is a sequence, so we're going to be using t of n. So it's going to be t of n equals, and in this case, we're going to use 1 half times 4 to the n. So you can look at both of these equations and notice that this is for the function. Um, for a real-life event, it actually is 2 times 4 to the x whereas the sequence is 1 half times 4 to the n, even though they are the same numbers, the difference is a sequence starts with term 1 and you have to go back a step to get the 0, whereas a real-life event starts at time 0 and you know the initial value.